Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over my process of actually building a list for one of our customers at Growth Engine X, and we're going to be sending some outbound emails to them. And so this list in particular, uh, these are the requirements for the list. So we're looking for e-commerce companies and consumer packaged good companies. They have to have over 25 employees, they have to be consumer packaged goods or e-commerce, their average order value is over $40, they're using Klaviyo um, or Shopify. And these are the industries that they would be in. And we have to exclude print-on-demand companies, uh, as well as dropshipping, I think. Anyway, okay, so there's multiple ways that we can build this list, and uh, we're going to go over a couple of them. So the f I'm, so I'm going to go from easy to hard slash expensive. So the easiest way to get this list done is to start with Apollo, um, use the technology filter and industry filters, uh, push to clay to do more robust uh, data analysis. The second way we can do this is we can uh, pull a list with built with, plug, into Apollo and then push to clay or we can use a pull list from harmonic Apollo okay. and so in this video I'm going to go over all of these um, but before we jump into that I'm just going to explain myself a little bit here so um, Apollo when you go to Apollo, the technology filter, that is built with technology filters. I've spoken to the Apollo team. It's the same data as built with. It just might not be updated as often. And so we can kind of cut a corner here and we can do that. The more robust data we're going to have to get from Clay is this average order volume right here. Um, we have to go to Clay for something like that. Apollo is not going to have that data. Built with, this is, I would say, probably the best way to do this without spending a ton of money is to pull a built with report plug those domains into Apollo, filter by the industries and the employees, and then do the average order value inside of Clay. And then uh, another great way to do this would be to use Harmonic and then jump into Apollo and then go to Clay. And so we're gonna just jump into this and we're gonna start with number one. And so here we go. We're gonna go to Apollo first, log in. Whoops, okay, we're already there. So. Uh, we're actually just going to do a people search. And so we are looking for CEOs uh, for this one, uh, like the CEOs and the chief marketing officers. So I always like to add as many as I possibly can. And I'm not going to make you guys watch this. I'm going to pause. All right. So I am done with my filters. I did all the job titles. We're only looking for people in the United States. We did a custom range of 25 to 250. And then our industry and keywords, we put in everything over here. Um, and then our technologies was Cl Clavio and Shopify. And so now we have our saved list over here, which is just a start for us. And what we can do is we'll download this. And this is a pretty quick and dirty way of getting the this list done. Um, now, the biggest problem is we're just at the mercy of what Apollo can give us. We don't have any other uh, resources that we can use. And so, like I said, quick and dirty, but we might need to expand this one day. Uh, if we want to expand it, the best way to do it would be to go to built with and pull a report from there. So I'm gonna jump over and show you that. So in built with, this is super simple. We can you know, pull up a list of uh, Clavio usage and then we can download this lead list. We're gonna grab that, filter it out a little bit and we'll use that. So we'll download the full lead list and then it's gonna run. We're gonna download this and then we're gonna filter on top of it. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like because uh, all live Klaviyo sites is going to take a long time. Shopify websites in the United States already has this done. Uh, we're going to hit ignore. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do an advanced filter. And so we're, we're just going to, you know, filter this with everything that makes sense. You know, United States. Um, let's see. Employees. We want minimum 10 and we'll do a thousand as the max. And we'll set that. And then you could just create a filtered report and we'd be able to use that. Um, so what I've already downloaded is I've already downloaded a list of Shopify sites. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna go from built with to Apollo, and then we'll take all of these lists to clay. So give me a second.
So oftentimes uh, the built with list comes with a lot of unnecessary data that we don't need. And it comes with a ton. If you do the CRM export, it does a ton of duplicates. So in Excel, I just deduplicated everything. So we just have this list. So we've got a list of 8,319. This is perfect. It's ready to go into Apollo. Um, the way I know it's ready to go into Apollo, Apollo can handle 10,000 domains being uploaded into it. And so, uh, you know, it's under 10,000, so we're good to go. So we're going to keep everything the same. Um, all of the filters are going to stay the same. We're going to keep all of this together, but see how I'm going to like show you how this gets us extra leads. Maybe it won't get us extra leads, but I'm going to show you a difference. And so if we add this to a list and we say like, um, that's Shopify list, right? So we're going to add this to a list and we're going to remove this list from the search so we can see how many new people does this process bring in for us. Oh, we have to uh, refresh it. So we're going to see how many new people will this process bring in. So we're going to delete these people. Great. And so now we're going to go to company include exclude list of companies. We're going to drop in all the domains. We're going to hit save and search. And does this bring new people who fit our criteria? I'll let it load. In this case, it did not find new people for us. Totally fine. We're just going to move on to uh, the last flow. So I forgot that uh, I was only filming my loom in uh, this window and I have to open harmonic in a different window. So I apologize about that. Uh, maybe I'll do a video another day, but a harmonic has a consumer, what do they even call it? They have a sector literally called consumer goods. And so that's a really easy filter to, to use here. And this would be another way to get this list. And so we could do the same exact thing where we would take the list of websites. We can bring it over to Apollo and we can actually take off our industry and keywords if we wanted. Um, because, Oh, whoops. How did I do that? The reason, how did I put in, this is 8,000, I'm gonna copy that. So odd, uh, we're just gonna refresh it. So uh, we can actually take that, the industries away because the harmonic search is the one that did the consumer like goods uh, check. So we could actually remove that, but I just want to see what kind of crossover we might have. Hmm, that's really not possible, but let's just, yeah, that was my mistake. Let's just work with them a little bit. All right, and we'll hit save and search. See, it says 4,936. There's no way that actually happened. All right, so there's no crossover, but let's see what happens when we take away the industry and keywords. Great. And so we have some more leads over here as well. And so it looks like actually Apollo got us a large uh, way there. Um, and maybe that's just the way we should have done it. So anyway, now uh, we have a list and I'm going to pull up that list, uh, the old Apollo list that we did. And we're going to go into clay and figure out the average order value. So we're going to go to clay, sign in. And so now we're going to make a new table. We're going to upload this and we're going to take our Apollo list and we're going to upload it now, technically. So what we're going to do is we're going to scrape the Google products and we're going to get all of the prices from Google products. And then from Google products, we'll figure out the average of the prices. Um, so let's see, econ sample list. So technically the best way to do this, see how I'm doing this on like a contact level. Technically the best way to do this would really be to um, do it on the company level and then VLOOK up this in so that we're not wasting credits. But I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna do it this way. Um, so the first thing that we're actually gonna do is I wanna make sure that these are actually um, retail companies. So I'm gonna go to AI. And I have, oh, nope, I have a preset. And let's see, is this a retail company? I have the preset and we're just going to point this as the SEO description. Uh, and we're going to click this. And so what this is going to do is tell us and confirm to us that this is in fact a retail company, even though we have a lot of other ways to tell this, we just want to make sure that they are a retail company. So we're going to hit run this. And I'm just going to rename this while we have the time. 
And so then we'll do a little bit of a spot check. Doesn't do retail. Who is this? Is on a mission to provide a better cut of meat for every type of eater. Rooted prune prime roots is able to replicate the taste and texture. I can see how it missed that, but this is a retail company. So we're just going to train the AI a little bit more. And so we'll take like all of this. And we're going to replace the description. And then we're going to say that. And we're going to say does retail. Great. And now we'll hit run again. So now over time, we just train it on the data. Why does it still say doesn't do retail? That's crazy. Anyway, I'll be fixing that. Uh, but we can run this on the rest of the rows. Uh, and so we'll, we'll run this. And now we can figure out their average order volume. So we're going to go here. We're going to do find, no, no, find Google shopping results. Great. And so we're just going to jump in here and we're just going to put the web, the, actually, let's put the company name and let's try that. So company name for emails. Uh, and we'll just put shopping. And then we'll hit this. And we'll just run the first 10 rows. And we'll just get what we need. So see how we have all these does retail and everything. Now we have our results. We see our shopping. Great. So we have prime roots. That's exactly what we're looking for. Great. Looks like there's multiple places that we're getting this. I wonder if we do it by website. And this again, I think it's pulling a lot of the the results, and probably the first one is like our best one. Uh, who are we even looking at here? What company is this? Stanberry. Okay. Cool. Stanberry. So we have the price here. Let's do another one. Stanberry eBay, Stanberry. So see how we have all of the prices? Stanberry. So all we're going to do is I'm going to filter. I'm going to export the top five prices here, and then we're going to make an average. So hang on. I already lied, but I'm, I'm just going to do the top three because it was enough. And so I'm just going to say, what is the average of, and then we're just going to map them. Extracted price and extracted price and extracted price. We'll just hit generate formula. Boom, that looks right. That looks right. That looks right. That looks right. Boom. So we'll hit output is correct. And we're going to name this AOV. And if we look back at our sheet, this is exactly what we needed. So we have the industry. We have Clavio, we have average order volume, we have this, and we have this. We're good to go. We built the list. And so I hope you enjoyed this deep dive of building a list from scratch.